direct purchase. Now they're saying that if you have the 55,000 or the 73,000 without having to go to the bank, you can make direct purchase to the housing authority. Now, where would a low income earner get 55 or have 55,000 or $73,000 sitting there somewhere that they can make direct purchase? then they're not a low income owner, I'm sorry. And if you have that kind of money sitting somewhere there, readily available, then what you would do or should do is go to the bank, use your monies as security, get a loan, buy a little piece of land somewhere cheap, and build a little thing on your own where you have your yard, you could do your vegetables, you, you could plant your flower garden, huh? and you could expand when you're ready. Because you might make more children too. So you could put on a little room, one for the boys, one for the girls. Hmm? Why would you take your, 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 your hard cash and pay the housing authority, give it to the housing authority, for an apartment, where you have to share amenities. We don't come to amenities just now. But as you know, in Simon Says, at Simon Says, we don't just take things for granted and we bring facts. So I did my digging as usual or my investigation. I was told I'm not a journalist. <laughs> I know that. I'm not NDC who put in people in place that and taking titles that don't belong to them. I know I'm not a journalist, but I do my investigation though. However, I spoke to a young lady who received a notice of offer. And hear me now. She never knew the change of plans. Now, we, we tend to believe that the internet, that social media, that these press conferences that come over on a live on the internet and so that everybody hears it. And the little snippets they bring in the news sometimes, a lot of people don't even have the time. By the time they get home and try to prepare for the next day, they don't even get to hear the news. So a lot of these persons who applied for these, these units, thinking that they're going to get accepted by the housing authority, receive their keys, and start to pay their monthly. They have a next thing coming. They didn't know that they had to go to the bank, like my the, the individual I spoke to here. Anyways, she went, she collected her letter of notice, and she took it to the bank. Now, she had applied for a two bedroom and she got the two bedroom. So that's $73,000. We, um, we can put up the, 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 the letters, the letter, it's a two page letter, sorry. And so she went into the bank. Now I, now I, I, I have, I, I normally say that at one point we had five banks in Grenada. And these days we have two and a half. So she collected a letter and went to one of the two, uh, the two. And in walking into the bank, she saw the manager of the bank who is an acquaintance of hers. She know him, they know each other. And that's one of the banks in one of the other uh, parish. And so, they spoke, you know, how are you doing the, the usual? And then she told him, you know, that she here to seek a mortgage loan. And she opened her envelope and she pulled out her letter. <laughs> and when he saw what the heading, she said his face, she saw his, his reaction. His face changed as if to say, oh Lord, you too? And so she said, he said to her, first of all, 
they don't know anything about what the authority is saying about the bank is on board. Now, when you just when you hear the word the bank is on board, the words the bank is on board, you're thinking, okay, so the bank won't give us the money, man. Once we get this letter and we go to the bank, we'll get the money because the bank is on board. He is saying that they know any nothing about that. And that she would need right there standing in the bank before she even got to sit down and speak to someone that she would need collateral and security and right there her heart sinked to her toes and left the bank On hearing this story, I thought I would, I would, I would call the bank and speak to someone who can help me. So I called and I spoke to a friend of mine. First, I called and I, I, I tried to get some invest, um, investigate on, on, on this whole onboard thing. And she said to me, she knows nothing about it. However, she quickly said that she does not work in credit. And so she might not have heard of it, but it's probably, you know, something that they, they are doing. So I said, okay, never mind. I, I, I agree. I rightly so. I called someone that I know in credit. And I asked her about the housing authority and the loan for the 55 and 73,000 and how are they dealing with it, the bank? And she said to me, what are you speaking about? So I went along and I explained and she said, well, I don't know anything about that, but I'm in commercial credit. So I'll speak and she's a senior member Hi, supervisor. So she said, I would speak to retail, get the information, and I'll get back to you. Sure enough, she did. And she said to me, Jenny, nobody seemed to know anything about this thing. But what I do know is that our bank don't really don't give loans for apartments, for units like that where you in between another, you know, with on both sides, you have other units. And, and I mean, me being a small business owner and, and, and had a, a mortgage at one point, you know that you, I understand that. I understand that totally, right? And she said to me that even if we're going to give a loan by some circumstance that, that, that would, you know, encourage that. It will not be for 30 years or even 20 years. And if it's for 30 years, she said the amount of interest that that mortgage would accumulate, it might as well. They, they buy pizza land, Bella house, and you understand. I'm like, what? They don't, she, they, they have no idea what the, 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 the housing authority is talking about, saying the banks are on board and they spoke to the banks and, well, if they speak to the bank, maybe the manager and the manager kept that for himself or whoever they speak to the bank to, to. And so they are confused. 